Hello. Hi. I am Ignatius Fort Seven, uh, informally, I suppose, known as Gerald. This is my lovely wife, Melanie, and we have a surprise. Uh, we decided to get what is it called? Universal, Universal Yums. Yums. Uh, if you see me glance over this way, uh, it's because that's where the computer is. I'm just making sure that we're so hunky dory. So we're gonna. Uh, it comes with a, uh, some kind of informational book and a series of snacks uh, <laughs> that will allow Snack. us to enjoy from somewhere. Don't so know where This yet. is a monthly box yes. that is, uh, it showcases different countries' snacks. Yes. Uh, this is the June box. Uh, which no, is, July. I'm sorry, it's July. It's, it's the July, July box. It's not June. I need to go to bed. Not really. I'm okay. Ready? Yep. What do we got? Ooh, we Welcome have... To Welcome Taiwan. to Taiwan. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, my lips look really red. It's all the lipstick you put on. Ooh. <laughs> it's weird. That's interesting. So... <laughs> This actually has, this is kind of cool guys, this actually has a, uh, it has a, a listing of all the different snacks and we can kind of grade them based upon our, uh, how we like them. Oh, don't poke me, that's rude. <laughs> rude. Rude. Okay. Okay, hang on. Before we before we jump into that, mm -hmm. hang on, hang on. Can you identify which of these countries is Taiwan? A, B, C, or D. Let me kind of put that up. Hold it there for a second. A little bit closer for you guys. A little shiny. Okay. Geography was. I'm not, not good at geography. Let's say it's C. Let's okay. Let's just say it's C, but I don't know. Sure. We'll say it's C. Find the answer on page 10. We'll get to that. That is the next thing. I'm going to look now. <laughs> That's the next thing that she's got. There is a little booklet. <clears throat> Ooh. Welcome to Taiwan. Very good. Very good. This. <clears throat> oh, trivia. Ooh, okay. At 7-Elevens in Taiwan, locals can do their dry cleaning, pay their college tuition, what? renew their driver's license, and buy concert tickets. It's kind of like a Walmart here. I would say, <laughs> that's crazy. Those it are the random, the most random. First of all, do their own dry cleaning is a little strange. I don't even, how, how Well, it doesn't say do their own. It says do their dry cleaning. I don't know if maybe there's a how, dry how, cleaning thing set up in the back or something. Oh, it's perhaps, possible. Perhaps. That was number one. Okay. There are six. Number two, it's common for, is it Taiwanese? Taiwanese, Taiwanese yep, yep, yep. Business to offer a two-hour delivery, close after lunch, uh -huh. compete for for best decorations, and give out free beer. Give out free beer? Give out free beer. Hmm. Huh. Cool, all right, number three. Taiwanese That's people strictly avoid giving blank as gifts. <clears throat> Shoes, umbrellas, clocks, and silverware. It's probably something weird like clocks. Like maybe there's a superstition there. Like that's true. There might be a superstition. Don't buy clocks for people, or or it'll eat their soul, or something. <laughs> Seriously. That's a little outdated, to be fair, but you know what I mean. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Why shoes though? Why don't you? Why wouldn't you want shoes? That would be a good gift. By the way, check it out. Dungeons and Dragons cup. Okay, would you stop? I'm thirsty. Okay, in Taiwan, blank play the same music as ice cream trucks in the USA. Okay. Wait a minute. Is this... I don't think that this is... I think we're supposed to choose one, like in multiple choice. Yes, multiple choice. <laughs> I just got that and we're on number four out it's of trivia. six. It's trivia. It's <laughs> trivia. Your okay. questions okay. are blanks Ambulances? and stuff. <laughs> 
ambulances. <laughs> I thought this was oh, okay. <coughs> anyway, ambulances, fire oh, trucks, that's taxis, or garbage trucks. Really? One of the I'm assuming one of those four now that I understand the concept more than halfway in. Taxis? <clears throat> It would be funny if it was garbage trucks. It would be hilarious if it was garbage trucks. I don't think that that's the case, but I guess we'll see. Where are the answers? I don't know. It doesn't say. We'll find out. must be later on. Uh, In Taiwan, you can win money by collecting receipts, drinking tea, recycling bottles, or riding bikes. Well, I know. Wait, win money. Win. Like. Uh, Like, I have the most receipts. I win money. Probably that's recycling bottles. Strange. I don't know. Maybe well, not. Well, that's like earning money. That's it's not, true. It's not necessarily winning it. Maybe that should be it's... like riding bikes. Sure. Mm. Okay. Schools in Taiwan do not have male teachers, huh. janitors, desks, homework. Well, I'm. It's got to be homework. janitors. It's got to be janitors. I'd say homework. It was silly to not have male teachers. When you open sense. this month's box, one of two things may have gone through your mind. Number one, yay, Taiwan. Taiwan. <laughs> or two, wait, Taiwan is a country? Wow. Well, that, to be fair, there I, are, I didn't that's understand fair, the multiple fair. choice. So, well. okay. <laughs> There's certainly that's a lot true. of confusion when it comes to the status of this little island. Is it a country, a province, a state? It's difficult to answer. I don't know that it is. You see, Taiwan was an official part of China from the 17th to the 19th centuries. Okay. In the late 1800s, however, the island was ceded to Japan. Okay. Then, just 50 years later, it fell back under Chinese rule after World War II. Dueling Chinese governments created confusion about Taiwan's status after it was surrendered by Japan, and the issue still hasn't been resolved to this day. Whoa. It's disputed whether Taiwan has been governed by mainland China at all since 1895, but many nations throughout the world, including the U.S., recognize Taiwan as part of China. Uh, oh, I didn't know that. I didn't either. The people who actually live in Taiwan, however, have different ideas. So we'll be following their lead for the purposes of this booklet. Gotcha. For over a century, the Taiwanese have viewed their home as an independent nation and want to be recognized as such by the rest of the world. That makes sense. That's fair, yeah. While the political <clears throat> status of Taiwan is up for a heated debate, there is one thing about this island that everyone can agree on. Their food is some of the tastiest in the world. With an intriguing mix of Chinese and Japanese influence, Taiwanese cuisine delivers tangy tropical sweetness, full-bodied spice, and that unique um, um, umami flavor. Umami. Mm-hmm. It's, a, <clears throat> it's a bean, I think. I don't know. know. Whether it's smoked plums, peanut butter, mochi, mochi, mochi. Wait, where are you? I'm right here. Okay, yeah, it's mochi. Uh, Or crackers made with their famous five spice powder. Oh gosh, that's gonna be interesting. (laughs) There's nothing controversial controversial about these yums. They're just delicious. We hope you enjoy your visit to this country province. Country slash province slash state. And okay. that the only question that remains once you're done is, where can we get more? Let's, well, and I reckon we're going to be digging in here. After that, it is just... Digging! It's just... Descriptions? Descriptions. We'll, we'll, we'll do that later. Okay, cool. We can do that with it. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. All right, what are we starting out with? I don't Let's know. Start out pick, with pick something. Let's go... Sweet potato chips. Sweet potato. Hang on. We got descriptors somewhere in here. Are these blurry? Eh, a little bit. It'll be fine. It's fine. Sweet potato chips. Sweet potato. Where are they? I know they're in here. Here we are. Okay. Plum flavored sweet potato chips. We've talked about taro, peas, and carrots, but we haven't even gotten to Taiwan's favorite vegetable, the simple sweet potato. The starch is highly regarded in Taiwan, and for good reason. Many people believe that the island itself Looks like a great sweet potato. Check it out on the left. Oh, that, that smells, smells amazing. amazing. Uh, in addition, sweet potatoes have provided a steady food supply throughout the country's history and are still a staple for locals today. For these reasons, there are many local phrases revolving around the sweet potato. Phrases its humble ability, praising its humble ability to help people. <laughs> phrasing. Yeah. Uh, 
For, uh, la, 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 even when taken for granted. For example, Bansu Ju Ren Mai Ren King. I butchered that. Because <laughs> I, I can't speak Taiwan. Knees. <laughs> it's a popular phrase meaning the sweet potato rescues people without favor. That's it's, interesting. Yeah, it's this grand appreciation for the unassuming vegetable that has inspired countless creative sweet potato recipes across Taiwan. Sweet potatoes are used in everything from stew and hash to candy and ice cream, but our favorite way to eat them is in the form of these chips. Coated with a unique flavor of ripe Asian plums, this is a true tater treat. After one bite, you'll appreciate the common sweet potato just as much as the Taiwanese. Ingredients. I was... I was gonna say there's a sticker right here. Sweet potato. Right here. Palm oil, sugar, salt, flavor. It just says flavor. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Citric acid and plum powder. I didn't so know plum powder was a thing. Okay, grab one, and I'll grab one. What we're gonna do is judge these by uh, like a one to ten scale. Yeah. And then we'll kind of see what wins. Okay. Adding our points together. You gotta. You wanna. We're gonna. We're gonna do the GMM thing and, and uh, dink it, dink okay. it, and sink it. Dink it. This is dessert in a in a chip. This tastes like crispy donuts. Mm hmm. Look a. <laughs> it's donut chips. It really is. It is. That is amazing. Um, it's like the fresh donuts that you get when you're on vacation in a big city or if you live in a big city mm -hmm. that are warm. It's not warm, but... Powdered. Powdered donuts. i got to have another one. These are going to be gone by tonight. These are freaking amazing. All right. Now, this is our first snack that we've had. That's a nine for me. Agreed. That's a nine. Straight up a nine. I might change it to a ten later. What's these right here? Hmm? What's these right here? Yeah. Hang on. Um, G and M. You have a nine. That's a solid nine for me, too. Those are so freaking good. They're amazing. All right. <clears throat> What's the next thing we're, we're going after? <clears throat> Pea crackers. Pea, pea, pea crackers. crackers. I'm assuming that it is basil flavored because <clears throat> if we see here, it says basil right there. Yeah. When you think of basil, you probably think of Italian margarita pizza and linguine with pesto. Margarita pizza? That's that yeah, about. that's good. But the Taiwanese actually use just as much basil, if not more, in their cooking. Taiwanese sweet basil, also known as green oh joy. Oh my gosh, it's like somebody dumped a jar of basil in here. Oh wow. It's a common ingredient in countless traditional dishes. With they a milder like flavor than its western counterpart, this herb adds a unique brightness to Taiwanese classics like three cup chicken, braised eggplant, and even ice cream. Mm. Gross. Gross. <laughs> You'll get to experience the fresh aromatic flavor of Taiwanese green joy with these crisp pea crackers. P-E-A- an important <laughs> distinction. Well, it's we a know. green. Okay. Well. We know. First cookies made with roots. Now crackers made with peas. But um, we're kind of reading this out of order because we're just grabbing them as we go. So some of this is out of context. I don't uh, think we should read all the but, ingredients. But trust here. us. I'm not going to. But trust us. If all veggies tasted like these basil crackers, we'd be begging for seconds every time. It has a long list of ingredients, um, including things like monosodium, glutinate, and other random Awesome business. stuff. Um, what? These look like... They look like Fritos, like the twisty Fritos. Oh, uh, the, the Frito Twists. Is that what they're called? Frito okay. Twists? I don't know. Boop. Um. First taste is okay. I need I need a round two to really give it a, a full assessment. Um, We're gonna have to brush our teeth after this. <laughs> okay. Some pain is not pain is in a bad way, just so, strong. It's like it's like eating basil. 
That's been dehydrated and crunchy. Yeah. Like pure basil. It's sweet. Initially. <clears throat> and it has a nice... It, it's not bad. It has a it's nice savory. flavor. I like savory. Um, sometimes more than I like sweet. Ooh, yes. Palate cleanser, please. I'm going to give that a solid... Uh, seven? Like it's good. I was thinking a six for me. Okay. We're going to do six. No. Let's drop that down to a five for me. It's... I would snack on it, but... That's this one here. I would so choose those sweet potato chips over that. Oh, 100%. Okay. Amazing. <clears throat> pop Smile Bubble Tea Flavored Popcorn with Black Tea Flakes. Hang on. I gotta find it. Sweet Corn Bar. Pop Smile Bubble... Okay, yeah, here we go. This doesn't look like your usual yum, and it's not. This popcorn was custom created for Universal Yums. Really? How neat. To bring a taste of Taiwan's famous tea to you. You see, in Taiwan, it's always tea time. Mad Hatter. Whether black, green, or oolong, tea is served on every street in Taiwan at any time of day. That smells very it fresh. Smells good. <clears throat> But it wasn't always this way. In the 1980s, tea was viewed as an unfashionable drink, only consumed by the elderly. This wasn't exactly good news for Yu Han Che, owner of a small local tea house called Chun Shui Tang. To attract younger customers, Yu began serving his tea chilled, inspired by Japan's popular cold coffee. This creation was an instant hit, but the shop's most iconic creation came eight years later, when one of Yu's employees was munching on a Taiwanese tapioca pudding. Just for fun, she decided to pour her tapioca pearls into her iced milk tea. And just like that, Taiwan's famous bubble tea was born. How the, interesting. The chewy tea concoction spread like wildfire throughout Taiwan, and today it's evolved into an international sensation. This exclusive yum, with its sweet bubble tea coating and sprinkling of real black tea flakes, goes way beyond unique. Hmm. Tea and popcorn. Who knows? You might just be sampling Taiwan's next global sensation. Um, Not as many ingredients in this, which is good. I am intrigued, uh, to say the least. And it's just like, it's just popcorn. I mean, it's not... Yeah, it's... It's coated. It's literally... It's, it looks like caramel... It smells a little minty, almost. It does. Hmm. I don't hate it. It's, um... It's different. <laughs> she doesn't like it. Now, I will say that so far, I'm comparatively... It has an interesting, like a fruity aftertaste, which I actually kind of like, and I don't mind the teeness. It's a two. It's a two for Melanie. That's gross. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna give it. Um, I'm gonna give it a five. A good solid five. It's, and it's it's not that it's bad. It's that comparatively to the other things, Ooh. it's not as good. Assorted candy. We should save that for last. <clears throat> yes. Just assorted candy. Okay. Let's. Ooh. Fried cookies, biscuits, fruit, something. It's sesame flavored. I bet this is gonna uh, be really good. Hang on, I gotta find it. I gotta find it in the book. No, the book. Yeah. Well, no sass. Right. The yum bag, by the way, is is what you were talking about. Yeah. Okay. Sesame fried cookies. Right. Is that what that is? Yes. I think. Yeah. Small they don't flat. Smell as good as what I got excited for. We'll, we'll see. You never know. Small, flat, thin, and brittle. These don't exactly look like your typical cookies, and there's a reason for that. These Japanese-style cookies aren't baked; they're fried. Baked in Taiwan in the early 1900s, these traditional treats are cooked in an old-fashioned grill over a round gas oven, giving them a distinct mm. snappy texture. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Gross. Well. Sorry, my bad. That's probably paying us. But, but that Gross. isn't the only thing that makes these cookies unique. With savory ingredients like sesame and egg yolk. Oh, really? 
The, the classic recipe packs in some intriguing flavor with just a hint of sweetness. Ooh, there's another ingredient thing. Throughout on Taiwan, fried cookies are often enjoyed alongside a cup of green tea for the ideal light snack. I snack. can see that with how it smells. Our recommendation, since it's summer, we highly suggest trying them atop some green tea ice cream. You can thank us later. We don't have any green tea ice cream. Uh, that sounds kind of gross. I'm not a big green tea guy. So, you know. Uh, let's. I want to. I want to fold one. It reminds me of pancakes. Like it, they look like little pancakes with chocolate chips uh, in, but they're with, not. It's... With chocolate chips, it's got some kind of. Yeah. Uh... You know, I wasn't sold on the idea at first. It also reminds me of waffle, like like waffle cones. Yeah, the texture does. It has the texture of waffle cones. This is delightful. Oh, there. I'm going to give that one an eight. Really? I like that one. You know, it's all seven for me. Mm. Where are those? Those are good. May I see? I think they're right here. The the bag because it didn't match in here. Like see right here. Oh okay. <clears throat> then it would be that one. Yeah, okay. you're right. Hmm, those are very good. Seven for me. I can see why they would be eaten with tea. Eight for me. That's good. Hmm, a little sticky yes. in the mouth. What do we want to do next? Uh, Let's do. Let's stick with the savory stuff as much as we can. <clears throat> Is that mango? White chocolate. We're gonna stick. We're gonna save that one. Okay, yeah. that's that's okay. Grab the French fry looking stuff. Oh no! Uh, oh, 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 ah, sorry. Ugh. I don't know what this racket. is at all because it's all in Taiwan. Yes. Taiwanese. Taiwanese. But it's got a creepy little person in the fries. <laughs> like like a mushroom man. Like a mushroom man right there on the end. This is. Kadena salted fries. French fries in a box from Taiwan? Just give us a moment. We promise it'll make sense by the end. In the past 20 years, Taiwan has been hit with a bit of fast food fever. McDonald's, Pizza Hut, KFC, you name it, they've got it like we do. There's Ooh. no smell. I can smell a little bit of potato -ness, ness in it. Of course, the menus of these popular food joints aren't exactly the same as what you'll find in the U.S. Interesting. Interested in rice patty burgers? Squid Ooh. pizza. Ew, gross. That actually sounds good. Or custard egg tarts. You can find them good. there. In fact, Taiwanese food, fast food culture has become so popular that in the past two years, the Taiwanese have overtaken Americans in terms of eating out. Oh, they wow. do it 30 times a month versus our 20 times. That's a lot. Oh, they gave us two bags, <clears throat> two, two things of that. People eat? Out that much? Goodness gracious. Like here? That's expensive. Yeah. So that's why we included the fries. At this point, they eat them more than we do. <laughs> um, it has a handful of unpronounceable things, <clears throat> but for the most part, it's. it's uh... Well, there's handy at to you so you could choose one. Oh, sorry. And we're not going to open both packs. That's fair. Boop, boop. They look like McDonald's fries. Hmm. So. They taste like McDonald's fries that has been warmed up after being sat out for three days. I'm going to pass on the seconds on that because that's really gross. That's a one for me. I'm going to have another one. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> It actually has a consistency nice. of like a corn chip. Mm -mm, I can't. Mm -mm. Um, mm, I can't. Oh, whoa. You said one for you. Now, to be Can fair. Can I rate it a zero? <clears throat> sure. It has no. Well, no. Let's one. just do one. Um, That's gross. I would say that, <clears throat> again, it's not bad mm -hmm. to me. It's just bland. It doesn't have any taste at all. So, I'm going to give it a two uh, just because it's, mm -hmm. it's not great. And he's got a one. Okay. 
Do I need to get more water for us soon? We might need more in a minute, yeah. We'll okay. see. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, much. what's that? That looks like a honey type thing. Do we have anything else that is savory? <clears throat> I don't know that we do. Taiwan taro flavored waffle, or wafer, sorry, waffle, wafer. There's also a seaweed corn bar in there somewhere. Would that be this? No, it's 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 underneath that. Those this? right there. Yeah. Okay. So you we do have... those real quick. Yes. And then what are okay. these? Those are um, Minsure spicy scallion sticks. Okay. Cool. I'm excited. Let's try this first. This okay. one is seaweed corn bar. Something about corn. Yes. If your last interaction with seaweed left you tangled in the ocean, we have good news. <laughs> this next encounter will be far more pleasant. Seaweed is commonly found in Taiwan, and not just at the beach. Here, the oceanic plants... Doesn't smell bad. Ooh, it smells like uh, pops. Remember mm. the cereal pops? That's what it smells like. Uh, <clears throat> their favorite snack food, enjoyed as a dried treat or as a flavoring in chips, puffs, and crackers. So prepare to snack like a true Taiwanese local with this traditional corn bar covered in flecks of real seaweed. Feeling a bit <laughs> hesitant? Don't worry. This yum doesn't taste like a gulp of the ocean. Well, that's good. Because that would be gross. That would be so gross. That would be terrifying. The corn and seaweed blend perfectly for a delicious sea salty treat with just a hint of sweetness. Once it's gone, you might just start eyeing what's left on the beach. I don't think so. Mm -mm. That sounds weird. I got I got a, a bit of a... Oh, see? The sun's in my face. <laughs> that's okay. Am I just going to bite in? Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Mm -hmm. How interesting. I'm confused right now. This is very good. Oh. It's a long cheesy poo. Mm -hmm. Did you eat the whole? <laughs> so that was. I was going to leave a crumble in there. That was very good. So that is essentially just a very long cheesy poop, um, with hints of seaweednessness in it. That's really good. Um, mm. I, I I enjoyed that. <clears throat> it was. It does have a hint of sweet. I'm going to give it's, that one an eight. Uh, I gotta give it a six. Um, you know what? Because it was kind of bland. But I have an eight on those other. Let's let's do that one a seven for me. Okay. I'm gonna find them. Here we go. Okay. The aftertaste is a little weird, but it's a very good. It's, it's good. So I gave it a six because it is. Um, you know. We might need a refill on this. Oh, really okay. quickly, if you that's, don't mind. That's fine. I can do that. I yep. will read okay. about this next one. So okay. this is the green one. It's the spicy thingy yes. thingy. Yeah. Looks oh. like that. All right, Burr. so let's find that. Mincher spicy scallion stick. Okay. Looking for something hot and spicy? This is going to disappoint you. <laughs> <laughs> There's no shortage of flavor. I'm sorry. There's no shortage of flavorful food options in Taiwan. You won't come across many that are spicy. Oh, sorry, that was loud. The Taiwanese sorry. tend to avoid excessive heat, and when they do use spicy ingredients, they're mellowed out with sweet ones. Mm -hmm. Needless to say, these spicy scallion sticks aren't anywhere near fiery. With a sweet honey coating mixed with scallion, sesame, garlic, Mm, and a touch it of chili amazing. pepper. They're a perfect balance of sweet and just barely in parentheses. I, th I thought that it was going to be like multiple sticks. Well, we have another one. Uh, I didn't feel... Okay, fair enough. So here you go. I'll give you the first, first. bite. Ooh, crunchy. Got uh, it? Uh, hollow. No, oh, so it is. So, oh God. I can taste the heat. But it's wow. It's just a. That's. 
is amazing. The texture is, it sticks to your teeth, I guess it's from the honey. Yeah, that was the immediate like thing that I noticed is that it's almost gummy. Um, but then it's... Because of all the honey on it. But then it's flaky in the middle. And it's flaky, oh my God. This might, this is a very close second for me. Oh, that um, one's a little spicy. Ooh. Wow. That's very good. Holy crap. I'm gonna give that one a seven. It's gotta be an eight for me. Mm. Seven? Seven for me. And then I got stuff stuck on my teeth. Gotta be mm. amazing. That had a little more heat than what the description led on, but it's all good. It's it a good heat. It's not like a it's not prior overpowering, taste buds not off overbearing, heat. or it's nothing too crazy. It's not like right. habanero or even jalapeno. Are these the same? Oh, they gave us four of these. Oh, cool. cool. Okay, so those this, are all you because you really like them. I love They're, those. I don't like cheesy poof texture. I do. Uh, it's just, it, it's a texture problem for me. So I just, it, you know. Taiwan, taro. Oh. Is it taro or taro? Uh, Whatever. Flavor, yeah. wafer. Purple? Purple. Tiny purple. Looks like it should be out at Easter time. Minchur taro wafer. <clears throat> What's that strange looking vegetable on the package? Glad you asked. Say hello to taro. Ooh. Potatoes, tropical, purple flecked cousin. Ooh. Ooh, <clears throat> sorry, we're saying ooh a lot, which is fine. <clears throat> With a complex nutty flavor and extreme versatility, taro is beloved in Taiwan. We really like taro as well. Yes, we do. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, in fact, there's a, an entire celebration dedicated to the root. Oh, ooh. cool. Every October, thousands of locals flock to Little Kinmen for the annual taro festival where guests can dig for their own fresh taro, take pictures with the friendly purple mascot. <laughs> That's a little that terrifying. That sounds hilarious. That's why it's in a purple. Um, and indeed, and because it's got purple flecks in it. And enjoy a wide assortment of sweet and savory taro dishes. Want to celebrate taro like the Taiwanese? You can. With these luscious, luscious? Fair enough. Taro cream wafers. After just one bite, you'll discover that these purple veggies are worth rooting for. They really are. Uh, ha ha ha, rooting. Uh -huh, uh, uh -huh. Now, before we bite into it, mm. just real quick, we get from what's this? Thrive Market. Thrive Market. Uh, they make these like taro chips. They're huge. Um, the potato chips yeah, are like literally this big. Yeah, enormous. Until you get to the bottom, obviously, then it's all They go crumbly. stale fairly quickly. Uh, they do, but they have an amazing initial and aftertaste. Mm -hmm. It's, and they're very strange looking. Like there, there is like purple, it's like polka dotted potato mm -hmm. chips. But uh, they're delicious. But they're phenomenal. So let's try this. Oh, here we go. Me first? Yes, you first. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Wow, that's good. Now, <clears throat> if you don't like taro, it's not for you. Okay. It's basically like fluffy taro. The first initial taste tastes like cardboard, though. True. Like the wafers have no flavor at all. That's not incorrect. <laughs> I didn't mean to boop you. Sorry. Rude. <laughs> it is. You're right. It's a little bland for me. It is bland. It has enough of the taroness to make it decent. Mm -hmm. Four? I'd say three. It's not bad. It's just not. It's just bland. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to give it a four. I'm, I, 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 I'm noticing that I'm a little bit more lenient. Uh, on, on the snacks than, than you are. I have a very sensitive... <clears throat> That's fair. You do. Ta my taste buds are... And I like food. I I'm very picky. I don't, I don't know if you noticed. I don't care. If it's food, <laughs> I'll eat it. I'm very picky. If it doesn't have enough flavor, I will add flavor oh, to it. Oh, what are we doing next? We are doing pepper, pepper crackers. crackers. Oh, wait. Yeah, this is... Yeah, show them. Show them. Show 
I gotta find them. Here we go. Nice choice, five spice crackers. Most of the time, crackers will have one or two spices, but not these. These crackers. Ooh. Wouldn't settle for such a paltry amount. They need five different spices. And these aren't just any five spices. They come from an ancient Ooh. Chinese recipe that attempted to create a natural healing wonder powder. <laughs> that sounds cool. funny. One of these wonders of the powder was that it perfectly blended all five major flavors into this seasoning. Salty, sweet, sour, bitter, and pungent. Uh, that concerns me a little bit, mm. but we'll see. The powder became so famous that even today, it's still used heavily in Chinese and Taiwanese cooking. Though there are variations on the five, most blends are comprised of fennel, anise, cinnamon, cloves, and pepper. Cloves are probably for the pungentness. But when we tried these crackers, it felt like perhaps the five spices weren't all mixed in equally. We tasted two of the spices quite profoundly. Can you guess which ones they were? We're going to find out. Oh, no. Sorry. Rude. I know. I'm so rude. So they look like um, Cheez-Its. Or Chex Mix. Or Chex Mix. Something along those lines. Dink. Huh. Wow. Yeah, they almost taste like bland ginger snaps. But there's no ginger in here. I don't know. Okay. Two of the spices quite profoundly. I would say... Fennel is one of them. Yeah. Cloves? Mm-hmm. Fennel and cloves. Is that what... Is that it? No, anise is different. What's fennel then? Um, it's a... It's not a plant, I think. Yeah, but I've tasted that before. Like we're doing like other recipes, I've. It's good. I can't put my finger. Maybe it's not. I don't know. What so, I'm but. Again. Hmm. It has a nice flavor, and the texture is good. It's very subtle. It's, it's subtle. Good. It has a sweetness. But it's not overbearing. That is almost imperceptible. It's mostly savory. Yeah, it's pretty good. It has just a very slight hint of sweetness. Yes. Uh, which is actually pretty common in this set, I've noticed. Yes. With the exception of the sweet potato chips. <laughs> which which are, are amazing. Just like pure sugar. Okay. Um, so. Grade or score. Oh, right. That's a five. That's that's a solid five. I would agree with that. Let me see if I can find them. Bloop, bloop, bloop. There we go. <clears throat> carrot biscuits? Carrot. Let's try carrot biscuits. Carrot Biscuits. Yellow packaging. <laughs> okay. If you live in the U.S., you might know a few vegetarians. But they're far from the majority hmm. of the country. About 6% of the population are vegetarian. I didn't know that. Cool. In Taiwan, however, the idea of eating an all-plant diet is practically the norm. Fundamental beliefs from Buddhism are deeply ingrained in Taiwanese culture, and many practicing Buddhists refrain from eating meat. For this reason, many Taiwanese restaurants and vendors offer vegetarian or vegan options for guests. That's very cool. That is cool. But we're not talking about boring old salads and rice. In Taiwan, you can choose from a plethora of fresh and colorful veggie creations, like hearty soy stir-fry, plump garden dumplings, that actually sounds good. That actually sounds really good. Sizzling yeah. noodle hot pots and chili spiced tofu. No, thank you. Tofu is heinous. It's so bad. With all these incredibly mouth watering options, it's no surprise that many locals end up choosing vegetarian meals, even if they aren't strictly vegetarian. So why not get in on the vegetable fun? <clears throat> these crackers combine the sweet taste of fresh carrots and a savory blend of spices for one seriously satisfying snack. Snack. <laughs> Whether you're a vegetarian or a major meat enthusiast, you're sure to love these. Carrot. Oh, I forgot to show what it looked like. Yes. Sorry, my bad. Carrot biscuits. Um, which, does it show a carrot on the front at all? Yes, nope. it's a white carrot. White 
white carrot. Is that a thing? I don't know. Well, oh, am I holding the bag? I don't know. I can hold the bag. I was just, whatever. You ready? Boop. It's so long. Those taste a lot like the other things. They do. And they have, woo, they have a spice at the end. What, what is, is that? What a strange aftertaste. Um, you can definitely tell that it has carrots That's in it. That's very spicy, but that is delicious. I don't find it spicy at all. Oh my gosh, it's like... It reminds me of the... It Actually, I know what it tastes like. Mm. It tastes like egg roll I don't get that like like the the crunchy part the outer part of the egg roll the deep fried part mm -hmm. <clears throat> I don't get that I do and it's good I like it a lot um it, you know after the second one I did get I did pick up a little on, it's on, spicy. on the spiciness well hang on we got greater first Brood. I keep forgetting we have to grade it. Brood. I'm what excited to try <clears throat> this stuff. What, what um, is that? It's right here. Okay. That's a six. Uh, you know what? I was thinking six, too. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah. So far, uh, nothing has beaten the sweet potato plum And chips. like I said, I might change that to a ten when we're all said and done. Which <clears throat> we are a little over halfway through. Now. We haven't even gotten to the chocolatey stuff yet. So or the dessert that, stuff. That might... We're transitioning over to that though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a peanut cake. Oh right, I gotta. I it gotta, literally gotta looks it. like a payday. It does. It looks like a payday. Wait, wait, what is it? Peanut, peanut cake. Peanut, peanut cake. Product of Taiwan. Is it, the, is, is it the brown sugar lotus cake? No. No. That's this. Oh gosh! Wow. Yeah. Oh, here it is. It peanut, is peanut cake. Ha <laughs> ha. Does this yum look familiar? We're willing to bet your answer is yes. Peanut brittle is one of the most common confections in the world. Many countries make their own unique version of the simple treat. It smells like a payday. <laughs> uh, it totally does. Indian <laughs> chiki incorporates brown sugar with a cane sugar called jaggery, while Spanish churron, churron, whatever, like the one we tasted in April, which we didn't have that one. No, so this is our first I, one. I have, we have no context for that. <coughs> Uses almonds, or almonds, depending on where you're from, mm, uh, and, and egg whites. Now you'll get to, to try the Chinese version of peanut brittle. Fa Sung Thong. It's, it's a payday. Fa Sung Thong. Without as much caramel. Far, far Sung Thong. Okay, let's... It's Seriously. funny. It's funny. I'm sorry. Literally translating to peanut candy in Cantonese, these traditional this tr traditional treat is made with surprise, just peanuts and sugar, like brittle. Cool beans. It's uh, oh, but it's... as simple as it is, this brittle is one of the most popular snacks in China and Taiwan, especially during the Chinese New Year, since peanuts symbolize prosperity and happiness. Fa Sung Thong is often given as a gift to grant good health and fortune in the coming year. Though that's certainly a nice sentiment, you might not be too keen on sharing this scrumptious, nutty brittle. Be careful. Lucky for you, we've included two. Be careful if you eat it, because it's a little hard to even break. Gotcha. So there's plenty of sweet and salty goodness to go around. And it has literally four ingredients. Peanuts, sugar, maltose, which is a preservative, I think. And salt. And salt. And that's it. I broke it in half. Yours kind of went down in the... Okay, that's package, totally so. uh, totally fine. I'm just going to grab that there. Boop. Here we go. It's it good. It's to be expected. Yeah. Um, it tastes like American peanut brittle. Peanut brittle, yeah. Um, which is always... I mean... In truth. I like peanut brittle, so I'm going to give that a 7. Yeah. It's good. It's very good. 7 it is. Um, I'm not over fond of the taste of peanuts. Because you're weird. I'm more of a cashew and pistachio. Almond. 
like almonds, sunflower seeds. Mmm, mmm, so good. Anyway, but it's not bad. I don't hate it. And in fact, it's one of the better things that I like it that we've had so far. Yeah. You want the last little bit? No, that's for you because yours broke off. Oh. It's yours. Okay. We're getting low on water again. Really? <clears throat> you want to go go get it this time? No. I don't want to get situated again. Oh, I guess that's true. Okay. Okay, so we can do. We'll get more when we need it. Either this brown sugar goodness uh -huh, thing. Yeah. Or a sesame cake. I think we should try the sesame cake. Okay, hang on. Well, I'll, I'll have that later. No, go ahead. No, here. Do it. Shots, shots, shots. <laughs> okay. It's very hard. It's like, you got to chew it forever. Yeah. Mm. That's very crunchy. <laughs> yeah. We're going to hear it from all the way back here. We're doing like a mukbang. ASMR video. Okay. So now we have... <laughs> Where people just eat in front of the microphone. Which I never... It's not really my jam. Um, what are you doing? Sesame? sesame cake. Oh, yeah. I was interested in that. There it is. Black, Black, sesame, Black sesame cake. cake. You, you want to read this one? There is literally four ingredients in this one, too. Sesame sugar... So it's the Maltose same thing. It's just oh. got sesame instead of peanuts. Ever wish you could eat cake every day? Here, scissors. I do. In Taiwan, they do. Yeah. <laughs> Their black sesame. Oh, do you remember that black sesame oil? I wonder oh. if it tastes like that. Oh. Wait, no. There. We were talking about something else. Black. Black seed oil. Oh, is, okay. Is heinous. It's disgusting. Okay. okay. I mean, black it's good sesame for you, but it's cakes horrible. like the one you're holding are enjoyed every day. Let me smell. Let me smell. You like the smell? I love sesame. Um, it smells odd. To create this traditional Taiwanese treat, toasted black sesame seeds are mixed with sugar and pressed into dense rectangular sheets. To be fair, black sesame cake isn't anything like the sweet and fluffy dessert you're used to. This Taiwanese version keeps things light, simple, and far less sweet. But believe us, that bold, nutty flavor and crumbly crunch make for one amazing yum. The best part? You don't have to wait for a special occasion to enjoy it. Now, of particular interest in, in, for these is that, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I'm kind of showing it to you real close. Um, they have these ridges, they have these lines where you can kind of break them. Like, That's what was like, on the peanut thing too. Like Kit Kats. Just break it down the middle. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry Poopy, look out. I got it all over me, hang on. This is literally just the seeds with... Wow! Ready? Ready? Boop! Okay. It's sticky. Oh. Careful. Mark. Whoa. That is delicious. <laughs> this... Hmm. This is an eight. Mm. This is delicious. Woo. It doesn't smell good, but it's good. Woo. I like it. No, 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 no. It is really good at first. And then it gets a little... And then it gets super bitter. Like, mm -hmm. unpleasantly bitter. Oh, I like it. Um, to me, unpleasantly bitter. Not really my jam. Hmm. I mm. like this one. You can have mine. <laughs> you don't like it. Mm -mm. So you you gave it an eight? Mm -hmm. Nice. Let me see if I can find it. There it is. <clears throat> I'm going to give it a five. Yeah? Um, no. Let me give it a six. Because oh, you didn't like it, the bitterness. Well, initially, see, because you got to look at it as like the overall experience, right? And in general, the overall experience mm. was was good, tasted good, for the most part. Grab some more water. Yes, I will grab some more water. Yeah. I liked it. 
I'm very surprised you gave it a five, though. Hello. Welcome to my new ASMR channel. Not really. Rude. I'm just kidding. Maybe later. <laughs> I might do that later. When we have time. When we have time. Yeah. All right, what do we want to try next? Were we doing that cake thing? Oh, yeah. Okay. This feels weird. <laughs> it's squishy. <laughs> so. Like packing peanuts? No. It's weird. You'll see what I mean. Okay. Let's see what this is Wait, called. This is the most water I've had all day. This is a brown sugar lotus cake. Me. Few flowers are as important to Taiwanese culture as the lotus flower. <clears throat> Since ancient times, <clears throat> this oh, unique gosh. and striking blossom has been a spiritual symbol throughout the Eastern world. Thank you for getting water. Of course. Whoa. With brilliant petals that emerge from muddy waters, <clears throat> the lotus flower represents <laughs> rebirth and purity. <laughs> I'm like literally picturing, picturing this and then that being... Uh, I'm, I'm just, yeah, okay. Um, it's often used as a metaphor for human perseverance through struggle, <clears throat> in addition to its spiritual to significance. This. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like the honey lotus, buns. It smells better than honey buns. The lotus flower is also valued for its seeds, which show up <laughs> in a whole lot of Taiwanese pastries. Such a little too. This lotus cake is made from a mixture of lotus seed powder and wheat with a layer of caramelized brown sugar to hold it all together. Well, sort of. This Gosh. traditional yum is notorious for crumbling to pieces with every bite. Oh, great. Oh, nice. Well, all right. Yeah, I'm already like that. kind of experiencing that. But like the lotus flower, we prefer to think of this cake as a symbol. A little bit of struggle is well worth the end. There's a lot of ingredients in here, so we're not going to read that. I just want to try it. I get the first dibs? Yeah. They open wide. <laughs> it's a big bite. Oh, oh gosh. Mm. Oh, very sticky. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's really good. Mm. It reminds me in flavor and smell of honey buns. Like... The kind you just buy this, this, like Walmart or whatever, but it has a nice flaky texture. Mm -hmm. It's not dense. That improves upon the honey bun. Um, mm. It's very good. That's a seven. Mm. That's a seven for me. That's very good. Try and fit that back in there, please. <laughs> I was going to just finish it off. Like that, you mean? Yeah, thank you. I think that's these right now. Mm. I'm also giving it a seven. It's very good. Woo! All right. You want to do these candies? Um, or do we want to save those? Can save those? No, I can't. Okay. Let's do... Stick it in my mouth. That crispy crepes with premium white chocolate filling. Mango. Okay. Woo! By the way, this is going to be a long-ish video, so just four Well, minutes. we should have said at the beginning because we're almost done now. Well, that's fair. It's going be all right. All of these videos are going to be the same amount of time unless we change the package to not get this one and only get like three. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's true. We got the biggest package. Because so we, we didn't know what to expect. Big package. Dirty jokes. Sorry. <clears throat> um, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Calling all ghosts? No, fine. Sorry. You would just... Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> it's right there. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Crepes. This is very... Feel how light this is. Whoa. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> crepes. Holy crepe? It's called <laughs> holy crepe. That's what it says in the writing. It says holy crepe. <laughs> They're not just for France anymore. Though the paper-thin pastries originated in Brittany, France, Taiwan is well-known for its unique crepe creations. Street vendors serve up steaming Taiwanese crepes and slightly thicker pancakes. Filled with a plethora of interesting fillings, you'll find everything from savory pancakes with egg, meat, and scallions 
to sweet crepes with matcha, chocolate, and a fruit. And with vivid rainbow dyes often added to the dough, these Taiwanese creations aren't just delicious, they're also beautiful. Beautiful. But we don't have to tell you that. This colorful mango crepe is stuffed with smooth white chocolate for a fun and addictive spin on a classic that's Taiwanese through and through. It has a number of uh, different ingredients. Um, speaking of savory pancakes, we relatively recently started doing that. We started trying that. Oh, yes. And they are amazing. Pancake mix with... Onions and uh, onions and bacon, bacon and cheddar cheese and cheddar cheese or some kind of salt cheese. Salt and pepper, amazing. And you, you don't, don't need even, it with syrup. Yeah, you don't need. Um, you could. I eat mine with sour cream. That'd be weird. It's, really um, good. it's good. It's actually, uh, it's a kind of, uh, it's really good with the picante sauce from McDonald's or uh, tutors or, or just anywhere that has it's very good like with that too. some kind of salsa. Mm -hmm. Uh, I need to close that. What is this? What, what, you, what you just read about. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> it looks really... Mine is hollow. Does it have anything in it? I don't know. We're going to see. You should grab a different one because mine did, is not I did, and hollow. another one was hollow, too. So let's see what this is. Oh, they're, like, breaking apart. Yes, that's why. I'm sorry. Be careful. See, that one's hollow, too. Okay, fair enough. Boop. That tastes like a wax burner. It smells like what the wax burner, my Scentsy thing. It tastes like what one of those smells like. Like like one of the spring. Mm-hmm. It so does. It also it somewhat resembles cleaner. It's a little soapy. Not gonna lie. Don't care for this. I was really excited for this, um, but I don't. I actually don't hate it. Um. I really like. I like the texture. The texture. It like dissolves in your mouth, mm -hmm. and is amazing. Mm. In in that regard, at any rate. It was a different flavor. It almost has kind of a floral thing. Mhm. Mm um, again. It's not horrible. I can definitely taste the mango and the white chocolate separately. Yes, it. it it's not um, like it meshes well together. And it's I, very and distinct that, right, differences. That, that kind of makes it a little florally, which is interesting. I didn't realize that, that those two flavors did that, but apparently they do. Um, again, mm. it's not the worst thing I've ever eaten. No. <laughs> um, mm. Okay. Um, Great. Five. Or score five. You know what? I like the texture. I don't like the flavor, but I like it. Let's do six. Okay. I'm going to give it... Oh, yeah, let's go 6 too, because it's like, it's kind of like one of those things that you, you, you bite into it expecting something, and it's something else, um, in the bad way. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Not like savory pancakes. Pancakes you generally expect to be sweet when you bite into a savory one. This is in English, mostly. Taiwan Choco Ball. Okay. Are we are we getting near the end of our of our we list? We have this and then little candies, and that's it. What was in the purple thing? Did, did we not grade the purple one? Yeah, we did. Gary. Uh oh, I put it in the wrong place. <laughs> What'd you put it in? One of the little tiny candies. Oh. Oh, I'll just scratch that out. <clears throat> okay. Sorry. <laughs> A Taiwanese choco ball. Okay, hang on. I'm, I'm tracking it down. I think Reese's is the only, uh, the only one that can do chocolate and peanut butter justice. Just wait till you try this treat with this creamy peanut butter center. Fluffy, mooky, and a rich chocolate shell. There's a lot, there's a whole lot of surprises waiting for you. The biggest one of all, the fact that it's distinctly Taiwanese, even though mooky is originally from Japan. 
when you dig into Taiwan's history, the story of this snack all comes together. From 1894 to 1895... That's a very big write-up for this little tiny... It is. Japan and China fought against each other in a, in a war called the First Sino-Japanese War. Japanese. I can't read. <laughs> when Japan came out on top, China gave them the island of Taiwan. Ooh, that smells good. That smells good. As a part of the post-war treaty. You know, I win, give me stuff. Japan hadn't necessarily planned on occupying Taiwan, but wanted to use the opportunity to showcase the benefits of colonial rule. For 50 years, they ruled Taiwan, doing their best to treat the Taiwanese fairly and create jobs to boost the country's economy. Japan lost control of the island after World War II, but their presence in Taiwan has generally been viewed in a positive light by its locals. Unlike many countries that have been colonized, Taiwan still has a friendly relationship with Japan today, adapting many of Japan's foods uh, into their cuisine, including one of the most famous Japanese desserts, mochi, or mochi. I don't even know how you pronounce that. I don't either. I think it's mochi. I don't know. After one bite of this, you'll certainly understand why they kept it around. Oh, you going to feed me one? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to wait until you get yours. Yeah, you're fine. Go ahead. <laughs> Ready? Mm-hmm. Ooh. What? That's ah. weird. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> you know how when you were a kid and you go to the dollar store and you beg your mom for chocolate at Christmas time and you know those snowmen? Oh my gosh. It That's has that what exact that is. same texture. It has the same taste. It's better tasting. but That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's weird. That's exactly what it is. It's like super uh, chewy marshmallow. That's peanut butter flavored, covered but in chocolate. But it's not marshmallow flavor. It's just right. the texture. It's peanut butter. Right. It's just the texture of peanut of, of marshmallow. It's it's actually. I'm gonna just have one of those because that's really strong. It's very good. It is good. Do you want uh, another one or I'm, are you good I'm, right I'm, now? I'm gonna let's save them for later. Okay. Let's save them for after we eat <laughs> our actual dinner. <laughs> We're snacking before yeah. dinner. It's not, yeah, yeah, you know. We're gonna have a small dinner tonight. We're gonna have mistakes. leftovers for two days. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Uh, that's okay. Um, that is going to be a seven for me. I'm gonna give that an eight. An eight? It was good. Okay. That is very good. I quite like it. <clears throat> We're gonna have to get new scissors soon. These are getting pretty dull. Are they? It's also, you know, pretty sturdy plastic. No, it's not. Is it our last thing? Yeah. But there's a couple different kinds of candy in here. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. All right, we already have the lotus. So cake. let's do let's do the purple one first. Okay, that one's on top. Let me let me get these situated. Out. Let me get. How many are there? Uh, one, two. Are these hard candies? Three, four, five, five. No, oh, sorry. <clears throat> You're disgusting. I'm very gassy today. Likely a result of all the fluffy things I've been eating. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, there Sorry, should dude. be five. Is that it? Yes. Okay. Okay. Some of these look like they're hard <coughs> candies. I don't know. We're going to see. This is the last thing, though. Okay. All right. Which one are we trying first? The purple one. Taro milk candy. <laughs> that sounds really gross. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds gross, but let's see. If you've ever had marshmallows, gummy bears, or even a medium rare steak... You're already familiar with Q. In Taiwan, this letter is used to describe something squishy or chewy, a, f a favorite texture amongst locals. But of all the delightfully chewy foods in Taiwan, only a select few are worthy of the intensified phrase QQ, meaning exceptionally chewy or oh no. chewy chewy. Okay, cool. This milk candy is one of them. Its toothsome texture perfectly encompasses Taiwanese QQ, which is great news for you. With its sweet and toasty taro flavor, oh no, 
Uh, we will you, see. You'll be thrilled to keep on chewing and chewing and chewing. So it's going to be one of those, like, it's like a caramel. I'm going to have to, like, <clears throat> not, I'm, I'm not going to be able to eat this. Probably not. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, this is like, oh, my God. Oh, it's like a now and later. Just bite half, and I'll, and I'll, 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 I'll if you can. <laughs> Are my teeth still there? Yes. Initial taste, honestly, was pencil lead. <laughs> yes. Did you pick up on that? Yes. Like the smell of pencil lead? Um, however, getting into it, you get more, more flavors, like more flavor. It tastes like taffy that you get at the beach. I like fall water taffy a little bit, yeah. Yeah. And actually, it's not as chewy as they made it out to be. No, it's not. So, it's tolerable. Just the initial bite? No, Watch it's out hard. Watch out you break a tooth. The thing is that it's hard. And that's okay. Um... It's, you know, after you get past that initial pencil lead mm, thing, six. it's not bad. Five or six. It says, let's, let's say six. Okay. Man, it's weird. That is so weird. But not, like, I don't hate it. Yeah. Even though it tasted like pencil lead at first. <laughs> That's so weird. I don't know. what You said six? Yeah. Let's... The aftertaste is very good. No, like taro. It's very good. I'll say six too for that reason. No. Yeah. All right, let's All right. do this one next. Oh, well, um, are you gonna read the next one? Sure. What's in the back? Um, it's the heart one. Smoked. Wait, <coughs> you want to read through them and see which one we want to save for last? Go, go to the. Well, front. no, because I know which one I want to save for last, but. I want to save this black sesame, but you won't want to. Mm, so that's fine. No, no let's, let's save. Let's save the star fruit candy for last. Okay. That's the green one. Okay. Oh, finally finished that chewy. Thing. So this one, it looks like this. I didn't show you what the last one looked like. Anyway, this one is it's, uh, Azuki, right here, which is red bean milk candy. Ooh, ooh, I like red beans. Here's a fun fact for you. Taiwanese people eat less than a half of a pound of chocolate every year. That's what? less than the amount of chocolate in, in your Spain box alone, which we didn't get. Spain. Yeah, we didn't get any of that. Uh, for reference, Americans consume an average of over 10 pounds each. <laughs> what, per year? <laughs> yeah. It's like per Surprised? week for us. Well, people in Taiwan aren't too crazy about cocoa sweets, they do have different desserts of choice. Beans. How interesting. Yes, you read that right. A type of red bean is called azuki. azuki. Smell that. Ooh. That's a weird smell. One of the most popular sweet ingredients in Taiwan. The beans <clears throat> are boiled, sweetened, and mashed into a paste that's often used as a substitute for chocolate. We know what you're thinking. Can a bean really replace the sweet, milky taste of chocolate? You're about to find out. <laughs> These chewy candies combine the fresh, mild fruitness, fruitiness, fruitiness of azuki beans with <laughs> richness of milk for a sweet that'll leave you craving more beans for dessert. No, this is another taffy kind of thing. Okay, let me um, get a little tiny. Want me to bite it first? No, I'm going to get a little tiny. It's not red beans like kidney beans. It's That's a different. It's a different entity altogether. Mm. We'll finish chewing this, and I'll tell you what the smell reminded me of. Whoa. It tastes like something from my childhood. Doesn't it? So It gets sweeter as it goes. It does. It gets sweeter as it goes. And the taste improves. It seems to be mm. a common theme among these snacks. Is that sometimes the initial bite is weird and almost gross. <laughs> but then... As it goes, it as gets you, better. As it goes, it gets better now. Don't smell it before you do it either because we found out that some of those things taste really good, but they stink. The smell. This is a crazy thing to me. That treat mm. smells to me like the smell that is emitted from a crushed stink bug. I, I can see that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. The taste. But the taste is nothing like that. The taste... 
There's a. It could be the wrapping there's, too. There's like the tiniest hint of that. It could be the wrapping too, though. And normally I would say that that's bad and weird, and it is because stink bug smells. They call stink bugs for a reason. It's not good, but it's not bad, you know. I'll give it a five. I don't like as much as the last one. I'll give it a five too. <clears throat> All right, next one. Smoked plum candy, which looks like this. The vision of sugar plums dancing in your head <laughs> might be a nice one, but get it Is out of there one? for this candy. What's this one? Okay. No Ooh. sugar plums here, just smoked ones. Smoked plums are popular throughout Asia for their unique flavor profile and extensive health benefits. The full-bodied fruits are also used for a or, oh, I'm sorry, are used for a popular cold sour drink called Suan Mai Tang. My, me, my. <laughs> that a, word right there. That's hilarious. Which has been traditionally either. drunk during the summer for over a thousand years. Mm -hmm. You can experience this special beverage for yourself with these smoked plum candies. Uh. Take it from us. It's one Oof. unique experience packed with intensely sweet and sour flavors. Nah. Plus a hint of saltiness. This intriguing candy is nothing like we've ever tried before. Will you find yourself with a new type of plum dancing in your head? One thing's for certain, mm. this is a yum you won't soon forget. Dude, these are hard candies. Um, oh, so we each need one? So we're going to have to, yeah, we're going to each need one. At least they feel like a hard candy. They okay. look and feel like a hard candy, so that's my assumption. Yeah, they're hard candy. Yeah. Boop. Oh, that stinks. It doesn't taste good either. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, oh, wow. Um, smoked plum. I can, all right. Uh-uh. I can definitively taste the smoke. One. I cannot taste any plum. It's just, One. It's like smoked I've spit hard it out. candy. It's so bad. That tastes like what charcoal smells after it's been burning for a while. Mm-mm. No, I did it on camera because I don't care. That was gross. Yeah. One. Oh, wow. Oh, that's like my, making my eyes water. <laughs> Are you getting sick? Ugh. Yeah, I'm good. Gross. Yeah, it's pretty heinous. One. Which one is that? The purple? Wait. Which one is that? Oh, yes, this one. Okay. Wow, it's so bad. The aftertaste is... Hang on. We need a palate cleanser. No. Oh, boo. I just want to No, we gotta... Well, okay, here. Go ahead and do that, because I got one of these for a palate cleanser. I gotta be fair. <clears throat> I'll have one of these, too. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Uh -oh. It's less flavorful than that one, so that's why I did that one as a palate cleanser. Okay, mm. you talk me into it. Okay. If I get that taste out of my mouth. Oh, gross. Your face was hilarious. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, go. What's next? Sesame. Mm -hmm. All right. This looks. Let me open it and see if it's a <clears throat> if, if it's another gummy. Candy. Whether on bagels, breadsticks, or hamburger <clears throat> buns, you've seen sesame seeds before. These white seeds are common in the West, but Eastern countries like Taiwan prefer a different variety of sesame, Gum black candy. sesame. You're probably wondering, is black sesame any different than white sesame? The answer is yes and no. You see, both seeds come from the same sesame plant, but the white seeds don't have a shell, while the black seeds do. Huh. Hmm. This gives the black variety hmm. a more robust, mm -hmm. slightly bitter flavor. Mm -hmm. When toasted, they almost mimic the taste of coffee. I can see that. <clears throat> But is it? But but it isn't just their flavor that makes black <sighs> sesame seeds unique. These seeds have long been praised for extreme health benefits, from anti-aging to fighting cancer. In parts of Asia, the seeds are even used to make an herbal medicine for long, shiny hair. So <clears throat> that's their secret. That's what it says. <laughs> it says it right there. That's funny. Now you have a better understanding of black sesame. You should be able to fully appreciate these Taiwanese black sesame milk candies. Come to think of it, with their super chewy texture and sweet toasty flavor, you probably would have enjoyed them without no explanation at all. Or with with no explanation at all. 
Okay. Let me take a little tiny bite. Before we do that. Yes. Smell it again. I have a description for you. All right. Got it in your head. Yeah. The inside of a vape shop. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I see it. That's so crazy. It smells like the inside, like, not like in the morning. I'm talking like, <laughs> I'm talking like in the afternoon. I caught it. <laughs> when people have been vaping in there for a little while, mm -hmm. it smells just like that, like all the flavors mixed together. Mm -hmm. huh. This is very good. It's like coffee taffy. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I'm going to give that one a seven. I like this one. Mm. Agreed. Wow. I'm going to give it an eight. That's like cooking. That, that, that's like something that you cook with pure sesame oil. That's delicious. Mm. Did you put the, hmm? put in the refrigerator? I probably should have done that a half an hour ago. Hard to be fun. I'm going to make the pie, so mm. it's fine. Real life. So, <clears throat> it's very good. You can definitely taste the coffee-ness. It's, it's just sesame-ness. But it's not... It's not overbearing. Overbearingly coffee-ish. That one's very good. I like that one a lot. We have one more. I think this is a hard candy. I think it is, too. Yeah. Last one. This it'll, is something it'll star. Be, it'll be better than smoky. Well, we'll Blum. see. <laughs> star fruit candy. Nicknamed the Fruit Kingdom, Taiwan is home to a wide assortment of delicious fruits. You've likely tried some common varieties like mango and pineapple, but those are just the tip of the iceberg for this fruitful country. With both tropical and temperate climates, Taiwan is known for producing some of the strangest fruits in the world, from wax apple to musk melon to star fruit and <laughs> durian. Dur durian? Oh. I don't know what that is. Oh, durian is, uh, <clears throat> is a very stinky fruit. Cool. They use it occasionally on like GMM <clears throat> and it's it smells apparently it smells just like so much ass. <laughs> <laughs> I have never encountered it really to know. We're willing to bet you probably never never heard of these <clears throat> unique fruits, let alone tried them. Well, guess what? Today's the day. These succulent candies would you stop? What? These Dancing. succulent candies flavored with golden star fruit bring the bounty of the fruit kingdom straight to you. When it comes to fresh fruit, fruit flavor, this yum takes the crown. Okay, so it smells like... I haven't gotten mine open yet. It smells a little bit like a glue stick. <laughs> if I'm being honest, it does. It smells a little bit like a glue like stick. Like those Elmer glue sticks yeah. for kids? Yeah. It's just not as strong or pungent as that is. I don't know if I'm going to like this. Ready? Okay, initial taste was like, whoa, that's weird, but... And it continues to get weird. And I think it might be because we just had the really horrible... Mm -hmm. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We I had don't... the coffee stuff. It's not bad. I don't hate it. It has an interesting... Taste. It's almost like floral. Like eating flowers. It's almost like, you know how when you eat at like an Indian restaurant? Mm-hmm. It's kind of like curry-ish. I can see that. Mm. Oh, that's weird. No. Nope. It's weird going down. It's three. I'm going to give it a three, too. It's not great. So. Okay. When you're able to bite into it, it's not as bad. Yeah. It kind of tastes like artificial grapeness. In the middle? Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Be careful. It's nope. super hard. I'm just trying to break it enough to get in there. Oh, gosh. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Can you hurt yourself? Mm-mm. Yeah, totally I just gotta be careful. Got a lot of feelings back there. Hmm. 
You see what I mean? It's, yeah. Oh. Woo. I got a tartness to it there, uh, uh, kind of Me at too. the back end. Woo. Let me change that to a, t no, let's leave it a three. All right. So it's all of the snacks in our yum, universal yum is box. And um, yeah. we will, uh, mm. Oh. We'll be back next month with whatever country comes next. Does it have? It doesn't have a gooey middle. Mm -mm. Or nothing. No. Well, hang on. We're not done just yet. Yeah, we are. Um, page ten. Oh, what's page ten? The answer to our question. What question? Ah, ha <laughs> ha! We were wrong. Taiwan is B. Oh. We said C. Right, I forgot about that question. And we have other trivia. Okay. I'm going to have another one of these because that was gross. Yeah, it's not. It's not great. Where are the answers mm. to the front? Trivia answers. Okay. Go ahead. All right. I'm going to be over here with this one because these are amazing. So, we had gone over these earlier. We'll do it one more time. At 7-Elevens in Taiwan, locals can do their dry cleaning, pay their college tuition, renew their driver's licenses, or and buy concert tickets. And I've now realized that it's not all four of those. You have to choose one. In this case, it is all four of them. Is it really? Yeah. That's crazy. Ugh. That's weird. 7-Elevens are everywhere in Taiwan, but these aren't your normal convenience stores. You can do pretty much anything there. From paying bills to shipping packages to having your clothes washed. Let me spit this out. Okay. I'm trying to give you a palate cleanser. Because you're struggling over there. I am. Ugh. Not good. Not as bad, but not good. Okay. Mmm. Um. Yeah. Got it. <clears throat> you can do pretty much anything here from paying bills to shipping packages to having your clothes washed. Plus, every purchase comes with fun stickers that can be redeemed for ice cream and cute collectibles like Hello Kitty mugs and figurines. <laughs> I can totally see that. That's awesome. That's great. All right. Number two. It's common for Taiwanese business to offer two-hour delivery, close after lunch, compete for best decorations, or give out free beer. The answer is B, close after lunch. It's completely normal for businesses and vendors to shut down for a short time after lunch. So what's everybody doing? Taking a nap, of course. Wow. 30 minute midday, midday snoozes are widely believed to increase productivity. What? If you were with us in May, this might remind you of Spain's afternoon siesta and make you wonder why the rest of us haven't jumped on board. That is amazing, I want it. <clears throat> You want to move to Taiwan? No, uh, yeah, maybe not. <clears throat> Taiwanese people strictly avoid Can't giving blank as gifts. Shoes, umbrellas, clocks, or silverware. It is clocks. Mm -hmm. You're right. A nice Woo! watch seems like a perfectly thoughtful gift, right? Not in Taiwan. Oh. In Taiwan, the word clock sounds exactly like the word end or termination. Whoa. So giving any type of clock as a gift implies that the giver is expecting that person's life to end oh. or wishing them a final farewell, which, oh let's be gosh. honest, isn't what you want to hear on your birthday. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Cool. We don't really have any Taiwanese friends, so uh, we don't have to worry about that too much. Mm -mm. Okay. In Taiwan, blank play the same music as ice cream trucks in the U.S. Ambulances, fire trucks, taxis, or garbage trucks. You had said taxis, right? I had said taxis, but that it would be funny if it was garbage trucks. I was thinking it would be garbage trucks, but we will see. It's Garbage trucks. It is garbage trucks. Ah, that's so good. There are no public garbage cans in Taiwan, and people don't leave their household trash on the curb either. Instead, the garbage <sighs> trucks drive around blaring loud music to let everyone know it's time to gather the trash and dump it into the trunk. Wow. And if you miss the call, better get used to that stench. Wow, that's interesting. So they have to be ready. Uh, at a moment's notice to run trash they do. out. That's pretty bonkers. All right. Two more questions. 
In Taiwan, you can win money by collecting receipts, drinking tea, mm -hmm. recycling bottles, or riding bikes. Is it? I don't know. Collecting receipts. Okay. We might carelessly toss our receipts <clears throat> in the U.S., but in Taiwan, that's like throwing away money. All Taiwanese receipts are printed with a special number, and every two months, a few of those numbers are selected as lottery winners. Jackpots range from $7 all the way up to $333,000. Nice. And the more receipts you collect, the greater your chances of winning big. Which means you have to spend more money. Exactly. How very interesting. Hmm. My question is, how... Because you... So you, you go place to place buying things, right? How does... Is there like a universal new, uh, like numbering system? That it just picks up on and says, well, somebody already bought something over, uh, over there, so the next number up is here. It's a good question. Oh no. Maybe it ranges that much because there can be multiple winners. I think you're thinking too much into this. Well, that's just a curiosity. Okay. Here. Schools in Taiwan do not have male teachers, janitors, desks, or homework. I said homework. You said janitors, right? I did. You're right. Maybe that was just wishful thinking because I hated homework as a kid. <laughs> no homework. Need. homework is a school staple, my dear. <laughs> no need for janitors in Taiwan. It's the students' jobs to keep things clean. Yep. In addition mm -hmm. to tidying up the classroom each day, children must report to school at their assigned times to clean the entire building, even in the summer. So much for summer vacation. That is a uh, common uh, thing in, in Asia, actually. That's why I, I kind of already knew that one. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So. So Taiwan. As we know now, uh, the grand prize, so to speak, uh, goes to these babies. So we'll have one more before we go. Mm. Maybe Because two. they're freaking amazing. Uh, these probably won't last the night. No. Uh, the other stuff will. But these are too good. Alright, dearie. Pick one. Can you... So, I'm short, dearie. Sorry. <laughs> Seriously, though, these taste like powdered donuts. Um, oh, they even smell so they good. Mm. You know the kind of powdered donuts, like, like the mini powdered donuts that you buy in like the hostess mm -hmm. bags? They smell identical to that. Mm-hmm. And it is amazing. Mm. Oh. I'm happy with our purchase. It was her idea to, to get it. It was my idea to film it. Thought you might enjoy it. I argued with him. Um, yeah. Because the... Uh, <clears throat> hmm? Mm -mm. No? Mm-mm. You know the chip? We're good. All right. Mmm. Okay. Well, those are Taiwan. Um, be about a month. And we'll get our next one. Yep. Um, who knows where it will be? We'll see. We shall see. All, All right. right. Bye. Bye.